Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Today's show takes us to the beautiful Tennessee River, near the West Tennessee town of Savannah. The area is perhaps best known as the scene of the infamous two-day Civil War Battle of Shiloh in 1862. Of over 100,000 troops, nearly 24,000 were killed, wounded, or missing, and it proved to be a decisive victory for the Federal forces. This section of the river is also popular for the virtual bonanza it offers fishermen in abundant populations of several sport species, including catfish. Bill's guest today is his longtime friend and catfishing partner, Phil King, a top-notch guide on Pickwick Lake, who is now also known as the World Catfishing Champion. Phil earned that prestigious honor in November 2007 when he and his two team members took top honors at Bass Pro Shop's two-day Big Catfish Quest held on the Mississippi River at Memphis. On day one, Phil, fishing with his partners Tim Haney and Leland Harris, landed a 103-pound cat, which ironically turned out to be only the second largest fish of the tournament. Still, the threesome went on to win the championship title with a two-day, 10-fish total catch of 291 pounds. Feel that, that back rod. He's got it. He's got it. Get him. Get I him. I got him. <laughs> Feel like a good... That like a Mississippi River bite or what? He took that rod and went down he with went. it. <laughs> He's swimming to me right now. It makes it, he makes it easier for you when he yeah, does that. Yeah, but he ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna make it easy when he comes up here and balks on me, though. Come on, man. Oh, a big head shake. Two big head shakes. He's gonna come up on top of the water back there. Look at him. He's just swimming up river. He ain't, Boy, ain't you made get, him <laughs> act up yet. You get so excited. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's you get excited. As many big catfish as you've caught, you get excited. You're just shaking like that. I know it. And then, you know, many, you get them people on the boat and they say, son, do you always get this excited when you catch a fish or somebody else does? I said, yes, sir. I you said, do. when I quit, I quit caring folks like you. <laughs> Whew, my heart's beating. Look at him down there. I'm 12 feet out, so he's close. Uh, ooh, he's got some length to him. You see a big roll? Seven feet. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not done. He's a boy yeah. dog, boy. He didn't like that, that sunlight, did he? That rascal is a boy dog. He's going to put me down on the deck here. That's a He's good, a fish. good, good, Woo. good. <laughs> Woo. He is good a good blue cat. I'm going to have to help you on that one, I believe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Boy, oh, that is a whopper. That is one of those that we was looking for. He fished and acted. Look at that good, that good penetration there. Boy, that's a good. That, it don't get any better than that. That's a good hook set. The thing about it, I didn't do nothing. He did all the work. When he laid that rod down, it slid around there. Went right in his jaw. Trying to find the pliers. You believe in those circle hooks, don't you? Yes, sir, and I believe this is a good fish. What do you say? I say he is. 45 plus? Every bit. He's the best one I've caught down in here lately. Ooh! Yeah, baby! <laughs> How much is that? I don't know. He's still curved look up. At look at him. 50, 59 pounds. 59. Woo! Let's see it, big old good. Hey, baby. All right, you gonna let her, let her rip. We gonna let her we'll make us some babies. There, he's ready. He is ready. See you, Thank you. 59 pounds. <laughs> there you go. You Tip. are the man. Tip tail guy. I don't care what they say. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Pull it down. Got some current going out. You know, I realize the water quality of the Tennessee River is excellent. And the forge base here is tremendous. What is the predominant forge of these big blues? Well, you got the shad and the skipjack. And, and then you got all the clams or mussels in the river. You got the Asian clams, the small ones. And you yep. got the large, large, what they call mother of pearl shells. So they've got basically anything they want. So I know the shad and the freshwater herring or skipjack, uh, but do they feed on the mussels year round? I believe they do. They feed on them off and on, but they'll feed on them the majority of the year. All that rate's high in protein. It grows these big old fat fish, right? I believe that's, that's correct. That's, that's what they like to put a lot of weight on. They eat a lot of shells, mussels, and then they feed on the shad and the skipjack. They're a whole lot harder to chase down. He's got that rod. There are you doing it again? Yeah, another head shaker. I believe you got me in a bad spot. You're just gonna have to switch that. I'm holding my mouth right, I'm doing everything. Well, the big one. Huh? I am. That, that one, if you noticed, I waited till that rod, rod fully loaded. Yeah. 90% of the people would have grabbed that when he first started tapping it. And missed him. And missed that fish. If you'll let the bait and the fish and the rod and the hooks do the work, all you have to do is hold on. That's, that's, that's the difference in catfishing and a lot of other fishing. You know, bass, you can feel that initial thump. He's inhaled that bait. You gonna, you gonna need the net on him? Yeah, let's go ahead and net him because he's a nice fish. Well, let me get the big. He look like he's 15, 20 pounds. The big boy out. The big power catch. You're just waiting on that real big one, see? I know what you're doing. That ain't no slouch. You're waiting on that big 80, 90, 100 pound fish. I'm waiting on any kind of fish. <laughs> Boy, they're wicked this morning. I believe they ate a big bowl of them Cheerio mussels last night we was talking about. He's mad. Yeah, he is. Here he come. Here he go. Yep, that's a good one. Little chunk. That belly. Bring him in here. Whoa! A chunk, bit of chunk. He's fat as a butterball. He's a little butterball. Look at the gut on that, buddy. Dog tummy. Look at that little potty thing. Here you go. Look there. What's that? 20? Yeah, he's 22. 22 pounder. Look at that shape of that fish. And that is a chunk. Pretty. Right. Pretty blue cat. Get back down there and give somebody else a big grin. Artery cleaning. There you go. See ya. You know, I hear cat fishermen all the time talking about the more a bait smells, the more productive it'll be. And I've heard of the wildest concoctions. Uh, they take bait and they lay it out for two or three days and they soak it in this and they soak it in that. And they said, the uh, the more rancid it becomes, the better it is. What are your thoughts on that? I like fresh bait. That's just, uh, I'd like to have fresh bait. Sometimes we use two and three day old bait. They don't really get that soured. But uh, fresh bait's hard to beat any time of the year. There are times of the year when the water's down in the colder temperatures that the sour bait uh, does work well. But 
day in and day out, you can take fresh bait and you, you can be productive if the fish are in, in a feeding mood and you can be productive on catfishing. The current is the whole key here, right? That's, that's important every day that you can have current. That's always a plus. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels. Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination. And Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Lurlock, turning the tackle world upside down. And Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Lurlock. Their TackLogic technology locks your terminal tackles safely into place. 100% made in America, Lurlock revolutionizing the way you fish. Come on, Buster. Pull it down. Got some current going now. I remember watching a show a few years ago where you caught a big flathead on the Tennessee River. Like they never got him in the boat. He hung me in a treetop. He did. Yeah, look at this B roll. That's a big yellow right there. Not a good. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that's the biggest yellow I've ever landed. Biggest by far. Little old beady eyes. Oh, you great. Turn you loose. Get up one more time. Look at man, you do. Woo! Then I remember a big blue you caught just below the dam in a creek mouth, I believe. No, he's still on there. Just hang on, hang on. He's still wanting it. Get him. There he is. Oh, baby. Boy, look at him pull. Boy, he's yep. getting it, ain't he? Shaking that head. Look at him going now. Look at that head. Woo he's stripping that drag. You gonna need the net? Oh, I am in a minute. Which line Boy, you got I out? love doing this. I'm telling you, I do. Has you got that old heart pumping yet? Yes, yeah, pumping in them arteries. My hand. Yeah. You shaking like me. <laughs> You're coming up. 
Yeah, you better get to that. Okay, I get it. That was a Ooh. oh yeah. Look at that boy tearing it up. Yeah, he got a little small mouth in him, I believe, on top of the water. I bet he's over twenty. I think he is. Chugging away. All right, let's way go. to go there, Philip. <laughs> Yeah. I got him. Okay. 30, 36 pounds. Yep. All right, bub. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Blue. Thank you, old boy. Bill's question and answer of the week is brought to you by LureLock. Our durable tackle boxes will protect your prize lures and make organization fun and easy. LureLock, revolutionizing the way you fish. It's a new conventional braid using nine 100% polyethylene fibers. It's built to be smooth, quiet, and cast so easily. The nine strands are woven together for strength, and this product is ideal for pitching, flipping, or casting, and available from eight to 100 pound tests. And it's a small diameter braid. Hey, an impressive line you're really gonna like. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. There are many places you don't want to be hauling your boat when your bearings go out. For example, you don't want to be in rush hour traffic or on some back road in the middle of nowhere. And that's why I use Mystic JT6 bearing grease. The definition of reliable, Mystic allows me to always get there and back. And if you pack your bearings with Mystic, the same reliability will be yours as well. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. All these things, they're, they're handy in a pocket on a shirt. Catch me out. I'm telling you, I'm crazy about it. Now, what are we fishing right here, basically? A drop off? We're fishing the edge of a, a ridge, edge of the river ledge. It's got structure scattered down through it. Is there certain locations that are better than others? Uh, you know, a lot of fishermen have always thought that real, real deep water produced gigantic fish, and I'm sure it does. But this doesn't say that you can't catch big fish in shallower depths. Big fish in the daytime, for example, I like 30 foot plus water. I do like the deep water back. Nighttime, you can catch them in a foot of water. Those big fish get out and they roam and cruise the banks and uh, corral shad up, bluegill, whatever's in that area, they'll try to corral them up and eat them. And that's a different bite than nighttime bite. But in daytime, I prefer at least 30 foot of water depth. That back rod. He's got it, he's got it. I got it. <laughs> Act up, yeah. Woo! Good. <laughs> Woo! Hey, baby. Get him. There he is. Boy. 36 pounds. Yep. Look at that. There he goes. There he goes. You get, he's biting you. There he goes. There he is. Was that a slow pull down or what? I watched it. It just went like that, he went just, like that, went like that, went like that. Snuck up on it, didn't he? 
I am so used to going and getting a net, netting his fish. That's all I do is net his fish. Well, here, let's walk. No, no, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Let me see what it feels like. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a show enough good one. Do you think you catch bigger fish anchored or drifted? I, th I think it depends on the water temperature and time of year. Oh, yeah, I think your bigger fish probably definitely come from anchor positions. Well, the the hundred, your biggest, the 103 pounder you caught down at Memphis uh, in the Mississippi, you caught him anchored, didn't you? Yeah, but we, in the same term, we caught 370 plus this year drifting, so yeah, big fish right. will bite drifting. Plus, I believe we had two more on it, snapped their leader. It was 100 pound category fish. There you go. Bring him into the net, and he is in the net. All right, here we go. I know how this routine goes. I've done it so many times. Here we go. Bill picks the nets of fish. Now Bill is going to pick Bill's fish up. There he did it. He got bigger. him in the boat. That's a little bigger. That is a lot bigger. He's got a little more length and a little more chunk to him. Woo-wee. That big thing. Hey. Good morning. How are you? There you go, buddy. All right. Look at that. That's what, 36, isn't it? Yep, I believe it is. We're going to let him get to 46 or 56 next time we get him. The only way you can do it. There you go. Look at him. Hello. He going, there he goes. <laughs> it's not what to take. <laughs> hey, folks, let me just tell you. This guy can catch him. Phil King. He can catch them summer, fall, winter, spring, cold water, hot water, muddy water, clear water. He's got an uncanny ability to locate and catch catfish, not only on the Tennessee River, but in Pickwick Lake, Wilson Lake further south, the Ohio River, the Mississippi River. What else can I say? I've thoroughly enjoyed this day. I really have. Every time I go with you, I learn something new. You're a great teacher and a great friend, and I thank you for a great day. Thank you, Bill. It's been a great day. Thank you, buddy. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dams today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.